In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. Wait for the Lord, be strong, be stout-hearted, and wait for the Lord. You're very welcome to our Mass, which we're offering this morning for the repose of the souls of Pooja Sharma and her father, Sadir, uh, both of whom died recently uh, as a result of the virus. And during this time, we're invited again to wait for the Lord, to wait patiently in our isolation and to turn our hearts to the Lord in prayer during this time not just for ourselves, but for those who are in danger, and especially to remember those who are working to heal the virus and to treat people who are infected with it. So we turn our hearts to the Lord. He asks us to be strong and to get our strength from him, the strength of his mercy, the strength of his love, the strength of his peace. Lord Jesus, you were lifted up on the cross to draw all people to yourself. Lord, have mercy. You shouldered the cross to bear our suffering and sinfulness. Christ, have mercy. You open for your people the way from death into life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, perseverance in obeying your will, that in our days the people dedicated to your service may grow in both merit and number. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Numbers. The Israelites left Mount Hor by the road to the Sea of Suf to skirt the land of Edom. On the way, the people lost patience. They spoke against God and against Moses. Why did you bring us out of Egypt to die in this wilderness? For there is neither bread nor water here. We are sick of this unsatisfying food. At this, God sent fiery serpents among the people. Their bite brought death to many in Israel. The people came and said to Moses, We have sinned by speaking against the Lord and against you. Intercede for us with the Lord to save us from these serpents. Moses interceded for the people, and the Lord answered him, Make a fiery serpent and put it on a standard. If anyone is bitten and looks at it, he shall live. So Moses fashioned a bronze serpent, which he put on a standard, and if anyone was bitten by the serpent, he looked at at the bronze serpent and lived. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord, listen to my prayer, and let my cry for help reach you. O Lord, listen to my prayer, and let my cry for help reach you. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my distress. Turn your ear towards me and answer me quickly when I call. O Lord, listen to my prayer and let my cry for help reach you. The nations shall fear the name of the Lord and all the earth's kings your glory when the Lord shall build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. Then he will turn to the prayers of the helpless. He will not despise their prayers. 
O Lord, listen to my prayer and let my cry for help reach you. Let this be written for ages to come, that a people yet unborn may praise the Lord. For the Lord leaned down from his sanctuary on high. He looked down from heaven to the earth, that he might hear the groans of the prisoners and free those condemned to die. O Lord, listen to my prayer and let my cry for help reach you. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Anyone who follows me will have the light of life. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Pharisees, I am going away. You will look for me and you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. The Jews said to one another, Will he kill himself? Is that what he means by saying, Where I am going, you cannot come? Jesus went on, You are from below, I am from above. You are of this world, I am not of this world. I have told you already, you will die in your sins. Yes, if you do not believe that I am he, you will die in your sins. So they said to him, Who are you? Jesus answered, What I have told you from the outset. About you I have much to say and much to condemn, but the one who sent me is truthful, and what I have learned from him I declare to the world. They failed to understand that he was talking to them about the Father. So Jesus said, When you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will know that I am he, and that I do nothing of myself. What the Father has taught me is what I preach. He who sent me is with me and has not left me to myself, for I always do what pleases him. As he was saying this, many came to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The people in the wilderness lost patience. And it's something that we might be tempted to do in this wilderness of our time, in our confinement, that we might lose our patience. And what we are asked to do in our impatience is to turn our gaze to Jesus especially Jesus lifted up on the cross. He says to us, when you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will know that I am He. When you have lifted up the Son of Man, I will draw all people to myself. So let's just allow ourselves to be drawn to Jesus on the cross. Let us lift up our gaze to him and unite the suffering of this time with his suffering on the cross so that we may find meaning in his suffering, that we might find the blessing that we need 
and that in him we may experience the forgiveness of our sins, the courage to acknowledge that we need his mercy, and in gazing at him, we will experience the mercy that he has gained for us. And one of those who stood faithfully at the foot of the cross was Mary. She stands with us now in our time. And we offer the prayer of Pope Francis to the Mother of Divine Love for these, this time of the coronavirus. O Mary, you always shine on our path as a sign of salvation and of hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross took part in the pain of Jesus, keeping your faith firm. You know what we need, and we are sure that you will provide, so that as in Cana of Galilee, we may return to joy and to feasting after this time of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father and to do as we are told by Jesus, who has taken upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows to lead us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Amen. And we ask especially from Mary the gift of patience at this time. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, that being moved to compassion, you may both pardon our offences and direct our wavering hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Richard, our Bishop, the clergy, the religious, and all your people. Remember your beloved Puja and Sudhir, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially Inge Blechman, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, her husband, Saint Joseph, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. We pray in union with Jesus and Mary that we may be faithful to God's will in our lives. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, 
graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Prayer of Spiritual Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. When I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw all people to myself, says the Lord. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Let us pray. 
Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that ever seeking what is divine, we may always be worthy to approach these heavenly gifts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Just like to say a word of thanks for all of the food that's been left at my door. Uh, as you can see, I'm looking well, I'm being well fed, uh, I'm doing fine, and I hope all of you are doing well also. And I continue to think of you and to hold you in my prayers every day. Have a good day, a patient day, and a peaceful one. God bless.